Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well today we're taking a brief look at the Olympus EPL9, a compact uh, micro four thirds camera. Um, and this is it. Absolutely fantastic little camera. Um, I actually like the colour scheme of this one. They do it in three different colours. I've got it in this sort of brown leather look sort of colour. Um, and the reason why I purchased this particular camera for a long time now, and I'm talking a long time, I've been looking for a good quality compact camera with a fit in a pouch. Um, I use this pouch here um, and it needed to fit in a pouch. I can put on my belt, take it anywhere. And, and that fits in there like a glove. Absolutely perfect with its um, kit lens. Now, kit lenses are normally pretty mediocre. I've actually found the kit lens on this camera far better than mediocre. It's actually very, very good. It's not the fastest of lenses. You wouldn't expect it to be. Um, it, it, it covers a range of 14 to 42, which is basically 24 to 84 something like that um, because it has a micro four third sensor it isn't um, it, um, you know one inch it's bigger than one inch and smaller than APS-C so you're getting you know there's the uh, camera with its sensor um, and just see it in there um, so you're getting you know really nice images because I, I've used the one inch sensor cameras and I've never been overly you know overly impressed with them i've had the sony rx100 range and the Pan panasonic lx range they are good um but i find because this is micro four thirds it's actually bigger than the one inch sensor and i find this is much better for me um, so it's better in low light um but obviously it's not going to be as good as an aps-c sensor but then they don't fit in your pocket that's the kit lens fitted to it so when you turn the camera on power on switch on the top there obviously the lens extends and um, it's not a horrendous amount of range that it comes out um, and then as you can see you can zoom in and zoom out and what have you um, I did look at the Ricoh GR2 and the GR3 uh, great cameras uh, the GR3 has got image stabilization but you're fixed to a wide angle lens I didn't want that I wanted to be able to um, you know adjust for zoom so that's basically the EPL uh, 9 with its lens fitted and that's how it looks now on the top plate you've got a fairly traditional um, settings you've got your flash gun there that pops up so if you want to use flash and it can bounce as well so you can bounce it if you want to bounce it off the ceiling it's not an incredibly powerful flash gun but uh, for you know emergencies or for distances fairly close to the camera would work fine i tend not to use flash in all honesty um got a hot shoe for putting an extra an additional flash gun and a bigger flash gun if you want to or even accessories it could be a video light if you're doing filming uh, could be a microphone although there is no microphone input so you wouldn't want to put a microphone on it um you've got your PASM dial on the top so you've got auto shutter speed manual um art modes which olympus are well known for i don't use any of them because i tend to shoot raw and i want to adjust my photographs uh, in post-production um and then you've got your control dial here for adjusting your shutter speeds apertures exposure compensation whatever you, you might want to adjust it that's this dial on the top here can you see that easily that's uh, that one but uh, you know adjust your shutter speeds apertures and what have you um, and it's got a couple of function buttons on the back here uh, and a few and obviously a control pad um, on the back of the camera so um all pretty traditional um, but the grip is lovely it's a really nice for a compact camera that grips absolutely gorgeous really like that um, it's got a three inch tilty wilty screen so it will tilt up upwards if you're taking photographs down like that but the other thing is it does tilt downwards so if you're doing selfies or whatever you've got a tilty wilty screen for um selfies and um i can see the box around my face so you can it's got face detect uh, and apparently eye detect so i don't know if it has but it's definitely got face detect and it works great you know i had no issues with that um so that is basically the, the layout of the um epl9 
It's a 16.1 megapixel uh, Micro Four Thirds sensor in the body. So as I said, it's quite a quite a nice size sensor. Um, I would imagine it's the same sensor as you'll find in the OM10 Mark II and the OMD EM1. And not the EM1 Mark II, but the original EM1, because that's a 16 megapixel sensor. So um, it's even an updated version of it, or the same one, I don't know. Um, USD card fits in the bottom where the battery goes. Um, same battery as fits in the, I mean it's the same battery as the OM10, might not be, um, but no it isn't actually is it, no. But the battery slots in the bottom there uh, and the SD card just goes in with it. Again pretty traditional for com compact cameras of this size. Um, but it's got, you know, it's got a lot of features to it. Um, Touch, uh, touch focus, uh, excellent touch screen. So you can touch to focus, um, or you can actually use it to take a photograph with by touching the screen. But you can move your focus point round. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see that clearly, but touch to focus and then you can take the photograph. Um, works beautiful, yeah, yeah. Very, very pleased with that. And I use that, you know, most of the time. Uh, continuous auto focus. And, and the nice thing is, when you touch it, you can actually adjust the focus size. So if, you, if I touch that again, you can make that bigger and you can make it, or you make it smaller. That's not gonna show up on that screen very easily, but um, I can assure you that does really work. And that is, that is very nifty. Or you can just set it to, um, you know, a wide area autofocus, which is, you know, great if you're just handing it to someone and you don't want to worry about where the focus point is. The camera will select what it thinks is the right focus point. And um, in general terms, it does a very good job of that. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, it's not a heavy camera either. It's actually a very, very nifty piece of kit. Um, so, yeah, very, very happy with that. Um, I mean, I'll show you some of the images just so you can see. Uh, I know a lot of people are always concerned about Micro Four Thirds. There's always a lot of talk about Micro Four Thirds isn't the way to go. But you've got to understand, this is a compact camera. It isn't a big camera. It's a sort of camera that you can put in your pocket or in a pouch. It might not be pocketable, but it's certainly in a little pouch. And you're going to get massively better pictures of this than you are off a mobile phone. So for me, that was what my goal was, was to find a camera that would take great images um, and better than a mobile phone. Um, but if you look at, you know, if we just look at a few of these images here, um, that was taken, you know, that was at uh, 5,000 ISO, you know, and, and it's worked out great. You know, it's picked up, you know, you can see there's noise in the image, but you know, that's ever so easy to get rid of in Lightroom or Luminar 4, um, any of those sort of programs. Um, and, you know, again, the sharpness, and this is with the kit lens. Yeah, the 14 to 42 kit lens. Now, this kit lens only goes down to f3.5 at its widest. So, you know, it isn't a, um, a light demon, but, you know, it does the job. Look, look, the sharpness of that kit lens is absolutely super. You know, not a problem at all. You can do, if you want to do prints, you can print those up without any issue. Um, again, you know, now, Dynamic range on this camera again really surprised me how good the dynamic range is. If we look at that, that image is overexposed, it's blown out, the highlights are blown out. Well, you can see there actually, um, it's showing that they're blown out. So let's take the highlights down, we'll increase the shadows. I don't really need to bring the shadows down a bit as well. Uh, take the overall exposure down a bit. say to about there um, I could do more add clarity and all the rest of it but you know great and the sharpness is there have a look at another one again you know the colors look at the colors that sensors working fantastic yeah again the eye detect and the face detect Oh, Mr. Brunel, he looks, he looks pretty decent there. Clarity of that. I expect that's extremely sharp. Where's my mouse? Up there somewhere. 
lovely sharpness in the in the wording. And again on that one, let's focus on the tree there. Again, it's excellent, you know. So, you know, as a compact camera, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. So there we go. That's the a very quick introduction to the Olympus EPL9. There's a lot more to this camera than what I've just shown you there. It does 4K video as well. Um, and obviously films in HD. Now the only thing I've found in 4K, I've, I've actually done some filming with it, but I have noticed it doesn't overheat, which is, you know, a bonus, that's great. But it looks like you're limited to five minute clips because it kept cutting out on me after five minutes. So clearly in 4K, you are limited to uh, five minutes of video recording, which is understandable. It's the same as on the uh, Sony LX100 range. Um, but the fact that it has got um, a 4K video built into it, I think is great. Um, and as I said, it's a nice compact uh, design. It's not the lightest of cameras, but again, I like that. I don't like a terribly light camera, I like a bit of weight to it. Um, but uh, yeah, thoroughly nice camera. Um, recommend it to anyone. Really, really good. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching this review. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you do, please uh, hit the like button. If you found this video of any use, that'd be great. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to me and it makes, helps me grow the channel, really, to be honest. So thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to photography and video. Um, and, you know, search through my uh, videos. You might find something, other, something else there that you find very interesting. So thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.